He left his family for a new life. Three years later, he wants them back, but they've moved on. The wind howled through the narrow streets of the small town as Nicholas Kelly stood outside the house he once called home, his heart pounding in his chest. Three years had passed since he had walked away, leaving behind the life he knew and the family he loved. Driven by a longing for something different, he had set off in search of a new direction. But now, staring at the front door, the weight of his decisions crashed down on him like a tidal wave. He had left behind his wife, his children, and the life they had built together, chasing a dream that had ultimately become a nightmare. Now, after all this time, he had returned, hoping for a chance to reconnect with the family he had abandoned. As he took a deep breath and reached for the doorbell, he couldn't shake the sense that he was on the verge of discovering something that would alter everything. Nicholas Kelly had always been driven by ambition. In his 20s, he had forged a successful career in finance, working tirelessly and ascending the corporate ladder with relentless focus. By his mid-30s, he had seemingly achieved everything he had ever wanted. A beautiful wife, two young children, a comfortable home, and the respect of his peers. But as the years went by, Nicholas began to feel a growing sense of restlessness. The life he had worked so hard to build no longer seemed fulfilling. He was tired of the routine, the endless meetings, the pressure to perform. He wanted more, more excitement, more adventure, more freedom. And so, one day, he made a decision that would change the course of his life forever. It started with a simple conversation with his wife, Maya. I need to get away, he had told her one evening, after the children had gone to bed. I need to find something new, something different. I feel like I'm suffocating here. Maya had been shocked. They had been married for 10 years, and while their relationship had its ups and downs, she had never imagined that Nicholas would want to leave. What do you mean, getaway? Where would you go? What about us, the kids? Nicholas had tried to explain, but the words came out jumbled and confused. He didn't know exactly what he was looking for, only that he couldn't find it here. He had to leave, to explore, to discover what else was out there. Maya had begged him to reconsider, to think about their family, but Nicholas's mind was made up. He told himself that it would only be temporary, that he would return once he had found what he was looking for. But deep down, he knew that he was leaving behind more than just a place. He was leaving behind a life, a family, a future. The day he left, Nicholas packed a suitcase, kissed his children goodbye, and walked out the door without looking back. Maya had stood in the doorway, tears streaming down her face, as she watched him drive away. She had no idea where he was going or when, if he would return. Nicholas's journey took him to places he had only dreamed of visiting. He traveled across the country, staying in small towns and big cities, meeting new people, and trying to figure out what he was searching for. He took on odd jobs, lived in cheap motels, and spent his days exploring the unfamiliar terrain of a life without responsibilities. At first, the freedom was exhilarating. Nicholas felt like a new man, unburdened by the expectations and obligations that had weighed him down for so long. He convinced himself that he had made the right decision, that he was on the path to something greater. But as the months turned into years, the thrill began to fade. The excitement of new places and new faces gave way to a deep sense of loneliness. Nicholas missed his family more than he had ever anticipated. The thought of his children growing up without him, of Maya moving on, began to haunt him. He tried to push these feelings aside, to focus on the present, but they lingered, gnawing at him day and night. He realized too late that the life he had left behind was the life he truly wanted. But pride and fear kept him from returning. He was ashamed of the choice he had made, ashamed of the man he had become. How could he face Maya and the children after abandoning them for so long? And so, Nicholas continued to drift aimless and lost, until one day, he received a call that would change everything. It was a rainy afternoon when Nicholas's phone rang. He was sitting in a small cafe in a town he couldn't remember the name of, staring out the window at the grey sky. He had been thinking about his family, wondering what they were doing, what their lives were like without him. He had no idea that the call he was about to receive would be the catalyst for his return. The voice on the other end of the line was familiar yet distant. It was Maya. Nicholas, she said quietly, her voice trembling slightly. I, I don't know why I'm calling you, but I thought you should know. Your mother passed away this morning. Nicholas felt a cold shock run through his body. His mother had been ill for some time, 
but he hadn't been in touch with her since he left. He had told himself that he couldn't bear to see her disappointment, to answer her questions about why he had abandoned his family. Maya, I... I didn't know Nicholas stammered. I'm so sorry. I should have. She asked about you, Maya interrupted. She wanted to know if you were okay, if you were happy. I didn't know what to tell her. Nicholas was silent, his mind racing. He had been so focused on his own desires, his own search for meaning, that he had neglected the people who loved him the most. And now his mother was gone, and he hadn't even been there to say goodbye. Thank you for telling me, Nicholas finally said, his voice choked with emotion. I'll come back. I need to come back. There was a long pause on the other end of the line before Maya responded. Nicholas, I don't know if that's a good idea. It's been three years. A lot has changed. What do you mean? Nicholas asked, panic rising in his chest. Maya, please, I need to see you. I need to see the kids. Come if you want, Maya replied, her voice tinged with sadness. But don't expect things to be the same. We've had to move on, Nicholas. We couldn't wait forever. The call ended, leaving Nicholas staring at the phone, his mind reeling. He had left to find a new life, but now he realized that the life he had abandoned was the only one that mattered. He had to go back, even if it meant facing the consequences of his actions. Nicholas's journey back to his hometown was filled with a mix of anxiety, regret, and a glimmer of hope. He had no idea what awaited him, but he knew he had to face it, no matter how painful it might be. As he drove through the familiar streets, memories of his old life flooded back. The park where he used to take the kids, the diner where he and Maya had their first date, the neighborhood where they had bought their first home. It all seemed both comforting and foreign at the same time. When he finally arrived at the house, he sat in the car for a long time, gathering the courage to go inside. The house looked the same, but there were small changes, new flowers in the garden, a fresh coat of paint on the door. It was a reminder that life had continued in his absence, that the world had moved on without him. Taking a deep breath, Nicholas got out of the car and walked up to the front door. His hand shook as he reached for the doorbell, his heart pounding in his chest. He had no idea what he would find on the other side. The door opened slowly and there stood Maya. She looked different, older, more tired, but still as beautiful as the day he had left. Her eyes widened in surprise, and for a moment, they just stared at each other, neither knowing what to say. Nicholas, Maya finally whispered, her voice filled with a mixture of emotions. You're really here. I'm here, Nicholas replied, his voice trembling. I'm so sorry, Maya. I made a mistake, and I want to make things right. I want to come back. Maya looked at him for a long time, her expression unreadable. You should come in, she said quietly, stepping aside to let him enter. As Nicholas stepped inside, he was struck by how much had changed. The house felt different, familiar yet distant. The furniture was the same, but the atmosphere was heavier, as if the joy and warmth that had once filled the space had been replaced by something else. Nicholas followed Maya into the living room, where the children were playing quietly. They had grown so much since he had last seen them. His son, Adam, was now 10 years old, and his daughter, Lily, was eight. They had been so young when he left, and now they were practically strangers to him. When the children looked up and saw him, their expressions were a mix of confusion and uncertainty. Nicholas's heart broke at the sight of them. These were his children, yet he felt like a stranger in their lives. Adam Lily, Maya said softly, kneeling down beside them. This is your dad. He's come back to see you. The children exchanged hesitant glances before Adam spoke up. Why did you leave us? He asked, his voice filled with a mix of hurt and anger. Nicholas felt the lump form in his throat. How could he explain to a 10-year-old the complexities of his decisions, the selfishness that had driven him away? I'm sorry, Nicholas said, his voice barely above a whisper. I thought I needed to find something, but I was wrong. I never should have left you. I missed you so much. Lily looked at him with wide, questioning eyes. Are you going to leave again? Nicholas shook his head, tears welling up in his eyes. No, sweetheart, I don't want to leave again. I want to stay here with you and your mom if you'll let me. The children didn't say anything, their expressions still guarded. Nicholas knew it would take time to rebuild the trust he had shattered, but he was willing to do whatever it took. As the day went on, Nicholas tried to reconnect with his family, 
but it was clear that things were different. Maya was polite but distant, and the children were cautious around him, unsure of how to react to his sudden reappearance in their lives. At dinner, the silence was heavy, broken only by the clinking of utensils on plates. Nicholas tried to make small talk, but the responses were short and awkward. It was as if an invisible barrier had been erected between him and his family, one that he didn't know how to break down. After the children went to bed, Nicholas and Maya sat together in the living room, the tension between them palpable. I don't know what you expect, Nicholas, Maya said finally, her voice tinged with sadness. You left us. You walked out on us, and we had to pick up the pieces. The kids had to learn to live without you, and I had to figure out how to be both their mother and father. I know, Nicholas replied, his voice filled with regret. I can't change what I did, but I want to make it right. I want to be here for you, for the kids. I want to be a family again. Maya looked at him, her eyes filled with tears. But we're not the same family you left. We've changed, Nicholas. I've changed. I had to move on, to keep going for the sake of the kids. I had to let go of the life we had, because it wasn't fair to hold on to something that was never coming back. Nicholas felt a pang of guilt and sorrow. He had been so focused on his own journey that he hadn't considered the impact of his actions on the people he loved. He had left them to fend for themselves, and now he was asking them to let him back into their lives as if nothing had happened. I don't expect things to go back to the way they were, Nicholas said, his voice trembling. I know I have a lot to make up for, but I'm willing to do whatever it takes to prove that I'm here to stay, that I'm committed to being the husband and father you deserve. Maya wiped away a tear, her expression softening slightly. I want to believe you, Nicholas. I really do. But I need time. The kids need time. You can't just walk back into our lives and expect everything to be okay. I understand, Nicholas replied, his voice filled with sincerity. I'll give you all the time you need. I'm not going anywhere. The days turned into weeks as Nicholas tried to rebuild the life he had so carelessly abandoned. He found a small apartment nearby, giving Maya and the children the space they needed while he worked to earn back their trust. He visited the house every day, helping with the kids, doing chores, and spending as much time with his family as they would allow. But the road to reconciliation was a difficult one. The children were slow to open up to him, and Nicholas often felt like an outsider in their lives. They had grown up without him, and the bond that had once been so strong had been weakened by years of absence. Adam, in particular, struggled with his father's return. He was old enough to remember the pain of Nicholas's departure, and he harbored a deep sense of anger and betrayal. No matter how hard Nicholas tried to connect with him, there was always a wall between them, a barrier that Adam refused to let down. Lily was more forgiving, but she too had changed in the years since Nicholas had left. She was no longer the little girl who clung to her father's leg. She was now a young girl with her own thoughts, feelings, and fears. She wanted to trust her father, but she was afraid of getting hurt again. Maya, meanwhile, was torn between her love for Nicholas and the reality of their situation. She had never stopped loving him, but the pain of his abandonment had left scars that couldn't be easily healed. She wanted to give him a second chance, but she also needed to protect herself and her children from the possibility of being hurt again. Despite the challenges, Nicholas refused to give up. He threw himself into his work, taking on a new job and trying to prove that he was serious about his commitment to his family. He attended every school event, every soccer game, every parent-teacher conference, trying to be the father he had failed to be. But no matter how hard he tried, there was always a lingering doubt in the back of his mind. What if he was too late? What if the damage had already been done, and there was no way to repair the broken bonds? Just as Nicholas was beginning to lose hope, a shocking revelation turned his world upside down. It happened one afternoon when Nicholas was helping Maya clean out the attic. They were going through old boxes, sorting through memories of their life together, when Nicholas stumbled upon a stack of letters hidden at the bottom of a dusty box. Curious, he opened one of the letters and began to read. As he read the words on the page, his heart sank. The letters were from another man, someone Maya had been corresponding with for the past year. The tone of the letters was warm, affectionate, even romantic. It was clear that Maya had developed a close relationship with this man, and the realization hit Nicholas like a punch to the gut. He looked up at Maya, who had gone pale, her eyes wide with shock. Nicholas, I can explain, she stammered, her voice trembling. Nicholas felt a wave of anger, betrayal, and sadness wash over him. How could you? 
he asked, his voice choked with emotion. After everything we've been through, after everything I've been trying to do to make things right, how could you? Maya's eyes filled with tears. Nicholas, it's not what you think. I was lonely, I was scared, and I didn't know if you were ever coming back. I needed someone to talk to, someone to help me through the pain. But I never, I never did anything. It was just letters, I swear. Nicholas turned away, his mind reeling. The thought of Maya with another man, of her finding comfort in someone else's arms, was too much to bear. He had left her vulnerable, and now he was paying the price for his mistakes. I can't believe this, Nicholas muttered, his voice shaking. I can't believe you would do this to me, to us. Nicholas, please, Maya pleaded, reaching out to him. I never stopped loving you. I never wanted this to happen. But you left, and I didn't know how to cope. I made a mistake, but I never stopped hoping you would come back. Nicholas stood there, his heart breaking. He wanted to forgive her, to move past this, but the pain was too raw, too fresh. He had thought he could come back and pick up the pieces of his life, but now he realized that some pieces were too shattered to be put back together. The days that followed were filled with tension and uncertainty. Nicholas and Maya barely spoke, the weight of the revelation hanging over them like a dark cloud. The children sensed the change in their parents, and the fragile progress that Nicholas had made in rebuilding his relationship with them began to unravel. Nicholas knew he had to make a decision. He could either forgive Maya and try to move forward, or he could walk away for good, leaving behind the life he had once cherished. But the choice wasn't as simple as it seemed. Nicholas still loved Maya, and he couldn't imagine a life without his children. He had come back to make amends, to prove that he was a changed man. But now, he was faced with the reality that some wounds were too deep to heal, some betrayals too painful to forget. One evening, as Nicholas sat alone in his apartment, he received an unexpected visitor. It was Maya. She stood in the doorway, her eyes filled with tears, her expression one of desperation and sorrow. Nicholas, I know I've hurt you, she said quietly. I know I've made mistakes and I'm sorry, but I love you. I always have, and I always will. I don't want to lose you again. Nicholas looked at her, his heart heavy with conflicting emotions. I don't know if I can do this, Maya, he replied. I don't know if I can move past what's happened. I understand, Maya said, her voice trembling. But I'm willing to try if you are. I'm willing to do whatever it takes to make this work, to be a family again. But I can't do it alone. I need you, Nicholas. We need you. Nicholas stared at her, the weight of his decision pressing down on him. He knew that forgiveness wouldn't be easy, that rebuilding their life together would take time, patience, and a lot of hard work. But he also knew that he couldn't walk away again, that he couldn't give up on the people he loved. I want to try, Nicholas finally said, his voice filled with determination. I want to make this work. But we have to be honest with each other, Maya. No more secrets, no more lies. We have to face the past and move forward together. Maya nodded, tears streaming down her face. I promise, Nicholas, I'm with you all the way. The road to rebuilding their relationship was long and difficult, but Nicholas and Maya were committed to making it work. They attended counseling sessions together, working through the pain and betrayal that had torn them apart. They talked openly and honestly, confronting the issues that had led to Nicholas's departure and Maya's loneliness. The children, too, were part of the healing process. Nicholas spent as much time with them as possible, rebuilding the trust that had been shattered by his absence. He was patient, understanding that it would take time for them to fully forgive him, but he was determined to be the father they needed. Slowly but surely, the family began to heal. The wounds of the past were still there, but they were no longer the defining feature of their lives. Instead, they focused on the future, on creating new memories and building a life together. Nicholas and Maya rediscovered their love for each other, finding comfort and strength in their shared experiences. They knew that their relationship would never be the same as it was before, but they were okay with that. They had grown, changed, and learned from their mistakes, and they were stronger for it. As the months went by, Nicholas found a new sense of purpose in his life. He no longer felt the need to escape, to search for something more. He had found what he was looking for in the people who had been there all along, his family. In the end, that was enough. The story of Nicholas Kelly serves as a powerful reminder that our choices can have profound and lasting consequences. Yet, it also shows that it is never too late to seek redemption, make amends, 
and rebuild what has been lost. Nicholas's journey was marked by pain and regret, but it ultimately led to healing. He discovered that true strength lies not in fleeing from our problems, but in confronting them directly, taking responsibility for our actions, and fighting for the people we love. Nicholas's story is a testament to the power of forgiveness, the value of family, and the resilience of the human spirit. It is a tale of hope and second chances, revealing that no matter how far we may stray, it is never too late to find our way back home.